Hello, my name is Greg and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of the installation of GNS3 version 1.3.x. Um, I'm making this video slightly different than previous videos um, in that this video is for those who have already uh, installed GNS3 and would like to um, just upgrade to the next version of GNS3. Um, basically, in order to do that, um, you can either go to uh, Program Files um, under Control Panel and go into um, Programs and Features and uninstall GNS3 there or go to All Programs and look for the GNS3 folder and uninstall it from there. Um, once you have that in, uninstalled, um, you're ready to install the next version of GNS3. Um, if you installed Wireshark uh, separately, um, as I have, um, like you want, if you want to have the latest version of Wireshark, um, uh, you can go and download it. Um, by googling Wireshark and uh, go to their website to get the very latest. Um, other than that, um, everything else is in the GNS3 distribution package. I will show you, um, as I have in other videos, um, that I keep all of my uh, files in, in a single folder under the C root directory of GNS3. Um, basically in here um, I have a folder structure that um, keeps all my documentation, all my images which includes um, the uh, IOU VM image right here uh, and then under IOS um, uh, images there's uh, all the IOS uh, images as well as the IOU images right here. Um, this is where I keep all those and then under QEMU is where I keep my images for the ASA. Um, other than that that's pretty much it for images. Um, as I mentioned uh, before in uh, other videos, I don't give out um, locations where you can download the images um, because Cisco wants you to go through them. So if you don't already have images, contact Cisco and they can help you procure or at least download the images you need to get this up and going. Um, so basically, um, one other thing I want to say while I'm in here is if you want to be able to use um, uh, IPv6, you want to make sure that all your iOS images, um, with the exception of the 7200, because that's a 15.x image, um, which has it automatically, uh, you'll want to make sure that they all end with a T and a number at the end. Um, if you want to use, like I said, if you want to use it for IPv6. Other than that, it should work for everything else. Um, so let me go out of there. And then going back to the GNS3 folder, uh, under layouts, uh, there's uh, where I keep my. Uh, Super Putty layouts if you want to have different layouts for Super Putty uh, as you'll see as we get into this um, and also the projects so if you have any projects um, that's where I usually keep them in, in here um, so let's go ahead and install GNS3 version 1.3.4 So this is pretty much it next. I agree. GNS3. And as I mentioned earlier, if you already have Wireshark installed, you can uncheck these. I have these um, installed. 
So I'm going to go in and check those. And same with the Solar Winds Response Time Viewer. I already have that installed. Um, if you want to see how that installation um, uh, ha happens, uh, go to my video um, under uh, at this address at YouTube. So if you pause this video um, and look this up, this will show you an all-in-one for version 1.3.3. As I said, there's really not a lot of difference in the way it installs um, or as far as the configuration. So if you want an all-in-one video, that'll do it. So let me go ahead and minimize that. So let's go ahead and install this. Uh, I'll leave the path the same, install. And because we're not installing uh, SolarWinds Response Time Viewer, and um, uh, Wireshark, this goes much faster um, this time around versus if you uh, did all of those. Um, okay, so we're going to hit next. Um, I already have this, so I'm not going. I'm going to say no to this. But if you don't already have the SolarWinds standard tool set. I recommend uh, clicking yes to this and and hitting next. It'll take you to their website where you could download it. Um, it has a lot of good tools that you can use um, within GNS3, and it's a $200 value. So um, I recommend getting it if you don't already have it. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit next, and let's go ahead and start GNS3. And from here, um, basically the only thing I do is I check this box that says don't show this again. If you're not familiar with GNS3, um, you can leave that unchecked and this will come up every time you load it. And from here, uh, you can get to the GNS3 Jungle web page where you downloaded the distribution. Uh, you can report a bug, go to the blogs, look at documentation, and and browse the user groups. Um, but I'm going to go and uh, check, don't show this again, because I know how to get to all that. So go in and close. And basically, it's looking for um, your local server to find and to, to load that up. And then it uh, brings up this new project um, uh, path. And this is uh, showing a, a different path than what we're going to put in. So from, from this point on, um, we'll go ahead and uh, do con basic configuration for GNS3. So go ahead and hit cancel to that. And let's go full screen on this. Um, if you're new to GNS3, this is where all your node types will be. Um, uh, we don't have any routers, so if I click that, it doesn't show anything. Same for switches. Um, it does have these built-in, um, they're kind of pseudo switches uh, and hubs. Uh, they're not real, uh, uh, or I should say they're, they, they, act real <laughs> but they're not real switches um, similar as you'll see um, when you s watch the video for uh, installing IOU devices um, uh, there's also in devices uh, there's clouds that you can um, tie your devices to um, actually to the to your NIC um, which will allow you to connect your topology um, actually to the real world uh, via your NIC. Um, so you could actually ping, uh, like say for instance, google.com <laughs> uh, and get a response um, just like you would from your, your real PC. Um, and then there's also security devices and then this one will show all your devices once they get installed this is what you use to add a link between the devices uh, to wire them up 
and basically that's done on the, this screen right here. This is your topology screen so if you, you just drag something to it and I'll show you real quickly how you can wire it up. So basically you just click on it um, and um, that ties them together so when you go to click on it it shows all the available um, interfaces that you can connect with so and to get rid of this um, you just click this and it takes away the, uh, the add a link um, over here as you see this is the topology summary which shows a current status of the devices that you have on your topology um, because these are pseudo switches uh, they automatically turn on but your iOS, your IOU, your um, QEMU and your VirtualBox uh, will stay red until you start it which is with this button here um, and this starts all the devices on the topology or if you right click this one won't show it but um, once you install some devices and you right click you'll see the same buttons and they will allow you to to start uh, suspend or stop an individual uh, device if you want to just start one device at a time type of thing uh, again this is to suspend it this is to stop it um, this button right here is for consoling if you hover over these buttons uh, for a second they'll tell you what they are um, so that's that's in a nutshell that's pretty much how you uh, uh, drag a device to the topology and wire it up down here um, is the console um, which will show um, if there's any issues or any um, changes in Dynamips uh, as far as status and um, on older versions of GNS3 it would also show that you're saving all your configs um, I'm not sure if the newer GNS3 still does that I don't believe so but what it does do now in the new GNS3 is it will show a little line down here saying that it's um, saving the project um, and the path so pretty much in a nutshell this is GNS3 um, you saw it's very quick to install um, we don't like I said we don't have any devices configured just yet um, but let's go ahead and configure just the basic preferences so if you go to edit preferences and we'll configure the general tab to point to the brow uh, that folder on the C drive that I that I mentioned so let's go ahead and hit browse We'll go to the C drive, go into GNS3, and select projects because this is for the projects folder. And then we'll, for my uh, binary images, we'll go hit browse, do the same for that, and select the images folder. So now those paths are in there. Um, one other basic command uh, preference that I change is the styles there's different styles um, this one is classic uh, legacy uh, changes it to make it look like the old GNS3 uh, but I like charcoal because it's easier on my eyes um, uh, especially if you're in a dark room uh, as you could see it's no longer white it's kind of a grayish color so it's like I said it's a lot easier on the eyes um, other than that I go into console um, for your uh, telnet connections um, you can either use super putty or uh, um, or excuse me putty or super putty super putty will will open a window for each device super putty will do the same but it puts it in a tab format on a single window um, which is much nicer especially if you have a huge topology so I usually set it to super putty there are other options in there 
uh, such as Secure CRT, Telnet, TerraTerm, uh, XShell, and Zoc 6. Um, but Super Putty comes with it, so that's the, why I use that one. Um, and the only other thing I do in here is I check this draw a rectangle when an item is selected uh, just because it makes it easier to spot on a huge topology which device is uh, selected. So go ahead and hit apply and the only other thing I would say for basic um, setup is the server preferences. Um, as you'll see in upcoming videos, um, when we get to down to uh, configuring IOU devices, which is iOS on Unix, uh, you want to change this uh, from uh, a loopback address to the 192.168.56.1 host only uh, adapter uh, address for VirtualBox. Um, because what that will allow you to do is to tie other devices to the IOU devices. Um, if you don't do that, uh, they won't be on the same network and won't be able to talk to each other and you'll get a, a pop-up error uh, letting you know that it's it's on a different um, host binding. So um, I go ahead and select that um, 192.168.56.1 um, so I'll go ahead and hit apply to that and OK. And then the only other thing I do in server preferences is go ahead and add this 192.168.56.101 address for a remote server. And that's your virtual box um, IP address uh, that you'll see in the, uh, uh, in the upcoming video for um, IO. IOS on Unix IOU devices. So we'll go ahead and hit add to that and hit apply. And other than that, that's it for basic um, um, GNS3 installation and configuration. Uh, in the next videos, I'll show you how to install each one of these. Um, devices um, which will be IOU or excuse me iOS routers IOU devices which will be uh, IOU switches and routers uh, virtual box to where you could bring in a uh, either a PC or a server or both uh, QEMU which um, the only thing I load is the ASA there are other devices that you can load um, but that's pretty much all I load. And I'll show you that in upcoming videos. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care.